Hey guys, here are the top 10 run commands that still work and are useful on Windows 11. So let's get right to it. First up is just the dot or full stop or period depending on where you are. Just enter that and hit enter and you will be able to access your user folder and get straight to it. The second one is mmsys.cpl. This will get you to your sound control panel and you can select your default device, change volume, apply equalizer and so on. So that's that. Then we've got ncpa.cpl which will get you to your network settings which means you can manage your LAN or Wi-Fi adapters, update drivers, change properties, optimize it, etc. Ever like to view the summary of everything that's connected to your system? Here's the command for you, dxdiag. Once you enter it, you'll get a whole summary of graphics cards, displays, USB devices, etc. All summarized in a really nice fashion. Want to access file shares without going through the Explorer network discovery? Just enter the double backslash and then the host name or the IP address. So for me it's Vengeance. As soon as I enter it, it'll get me to the file share. If you have a NAS on your network or something like that, this command is super helpful. Next one. Have you ever wondered if you could clear the quick access panel where it's just a bunch of files and you don't want them or you want to disable it completely? This folder. All you need to do is just open that folder. It will be in the description so you can copy and paste it and then delete everything that's inside it and that will clear your quick access slash recent files. Next one, you want to manage everything in your computer including disk, devices, task scheduler. This command's for you. So you just enter comp management aka compmgmt.msc press enter and that will take you to computer management which used to be easily accessible back in Windows 10 or 7 now it's behind this run command. Up next is mouse settings. Now the built-in mouse settings on the settings of Windows 11 is not great. If you want to access the old system, just type in main.cpl and it'll take you to the mouse settings and then you can change your sensitivity, you can change your mouse pointer, etc. Next up, I will want to change your uh, remote settings or page file or your computer name. Just enter sysdm.cpl aka the system properties page. You can manage everything I just said and more on that page. Next one, do you prefer the old app uninstaller or repairer compared to the current one that Windows 11 has which is a bit slow. So here you go, just enter appviz.cpl and they'll take you to the app uninstaller and you can even turn on and off Windows features from the left side if you need to. So that's the top 10 of them but I have a couple of bonus ones. The first one being on-screen keyboard all you need to type is OSK simple as that hit enter and you'll have your on-screen keyboard to use it with your mouse or touch screen. Another bonus tip is if you are having problems where your system keeps crashing you might want to check if your RAM is seated and working properly to do that, you just run this command. It's called mdshked, aka mdshched, and press enter, and that will start the memory uh, troubleshooter. And that will do to restart your system. And once you restart it, it will tell you the results. So it's a pretty handy tool if you're having memory issues. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Smash the like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and dinging the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.